I apologize for the background noise. Unfortunately, it is very cold outside. Therefore, I'm not going to go there to do a video where, in, where it's quiet. So, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with it, all of us. Today, I want to talk about the statement, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. So in case you are not familiar with that statement, which I know that I have some friends who do not speak English as a first language, just give me a moment to explain that. Basically, the, the, the concept behind that statement is that if everyone is always taking revenge on everyone else for all the things that have been done, then everyone's going to end up as a loser. So if I take your eye and you say, oh, well, I'm going to get your eye now, and then I say, oh, well, I'm just going to take your other eye because you took my eye. And then you say, well, I'm going to take your other eye because you took my other eye. Everyone's going to end up having no eyes. <laughs> so <laughs> there is a vicious cycle that happens within this type of thinking where if I believe that revenge, uh, if that type of punishment is an acceptable way to go about dealing with interrelationship issues, then at the end of the day, everyone will have taken revenge on everyone else and we'll all just be dead because you know what, that's just where it's going to end up. It's actually a very common uh, belief. Uh, it's a very common way of looking at the world and it's very commonly accepted that you know, revenge is okay. It's it's okay to to do something back at someone else if they did it to you first. And obviously, if we take a step back, we can more clearly see the vicious cycle that is the trap within that entire belief. But when you're in it and when you're telling yourself, you know what, they shouldn't have done that to me. They need to pay for it. They should know what it feels like to have that done to them. And maybe then they'll learn their lesson. It doesn't seem so obvious that that that, that line of thinking is just going to lead to more of the same. It seems justified that people should be taught a lesson. People should know what it feels like to have something done to them that they apparently so easily do to others. Unfortunately, things don't actually work out that way. So, most people don't learn that lesson. Excuse me. Most people don't learn from this event that happens to them if, if something gets done to them as, as a form of punishment for what they did. Most of the time what happens is people get angry and upset and hurt and lash out and act destructively again in the same way, in a different way, whatever. So the reality that plays out is just a vicious, endless cycle of people doing mean, spiteful, nasty shit to each other over and over and over and over again. And uh, another really little cool thing about this is how easy it is to hold a grudge, how you can say, well, you know what, your grandfather did this to my grandfather, and so you're a bad person. And, and so it's okay for me to, uh, to do this to you. You know what? If we all were to really live that way, then none of us are innocent. All of us deserve punishment. We might as well all just, just keel over and die right now because we all deserve it. And okay. You know what? In a lot of ways, we really and truly do deserve to just not exist anymore. However, we're here. Non-existence is not an option. What options we have in front of us are different ways to live, to create different lives for ourselves and for each other. So, if we are going to behave in a way that is spiteful and vindictive and 
nasty and filled with revenge, that's the world that we're going to be creating. That's the kind of stuff that we can expect to happen to us. That's the kind of stuff that we can expect other people to believe are, are acceptable. And uh, we'll just have more of the same. However, if we decide that we want to live a little bit differently, if we decide that there are different ways to show people that a certain behavior or action is unacceptable without wanting to do the same thing back at them, if we decide that forgiveness is an acceptable action to take of ourselves and forgiveness doesn't mean that we forget and it doesn't mean that it makes something acceptable it just means that we don't carry around the emotional reactions that we may have had in the beginning we don't carry around that anger and hurt and hold it against each other we simply forgive let go learn move on with our lives maybe do things a little bit differently so that everything ends up a little bit more pleasant for everyone involved. So, as, as comfortable and as easy as it is to make other people the bad guy, if we're going to live that way, then we are all the bad guys. And I think it's time that we start acting like better people. Because, why not? <laughs> really, it just, why not? Why not create a better world? I can think of no reasons why not to. The only reasons that come up are ones that are not really valid in my eyes. So, you know what? Change is difficult. But, it's worth it. We can create something better. So, that's that's my philosophy thank you very much for watching if you have any questions let me know if you want to be part of the conversation leave a comment send me a direct message if you have any interview uh, if you have any requests for video topics then let me know and i shall do my best to fulfill your request and that's it uh you're gonna see me next time <laughs>